What's going on guys, Professor Chaos here, and in this video I will be showing you how to install mods and texture packs in Minecraft, and I will probably do mods first since mods kind of segue into texture packs. So first things first, let's go into our browser. Um, I'll have a link to all of these in the description, and there might be an annotation up here as well, but um, I suggest going and downloading Risugami's mod loader specifically he has a bunch of other mods in here as well but mod loader helps other mods um stops conflicts with mods that alter rendering recipes and add entities gui etc um it just helps other mods work with minecraft without um crashing and it doesn't hurt minecraft so even if a mod doesn't use it it's still okay to install it um but it helps quite a few other mods and so we will start with this one. Let's minimize browser. Go first you need to find your Minecraft folder. So in the search bar, type percent app data percent. And right there in the roaming folder, Minecraft should be near the top. Um so just go in your Minecraft folder. I also just suggest dragging it over here into your favorites so then you have a link right in here. Makes it a lot easier to get to your Minecraft folder. Um, but you should have a clean bin folder when you're installing mods. So to install a clean bin folder, open up Minecraft, go to options, force update, and then when you log in it will um, update Minecraft and you'll have a fresh bin folder. And it should look like this. So now, um, to install mods, this is kind of an old-fashioned way. Hopefully it'll be out of date soon since this is 1.2.5 and hopefully the next update, 1.3 I think they're going to make it, is going to add mod support. So we might not even have to do any of this. But for now, go into your Minecraft jar and you should have a program like WinRAR or WinZip or something. Let's make this smaller. Um, and then open up your mod. So let's let's just open up another Explorer window, window, <laughs> window, and let's go into my mods folder, and let's install mod loader. So double click on that one as well. They're all opening in full screen. Geez. All right. So now to install this mod, select all of those and go into your Minecraft jar. And you can just drag and drop, and then click OK, and then it copies them all over in here. Or you can copy and paste. But you also need to delete this meta INF folder. So delete that one, and then you're good to go. You can exit out. Um, since you can't really see anything different with uh, Mod Loader, I'm going to also be installing too many items. So just same thing, just select all these, and then drag and drop. OK. So now too many items is installed. We can exit out of both and then go into Minecraft. And if we log in and just go into just a random map. All right. So now um, if I hit E, I have too many items installed. <laughs> it works great. Um, you can turn too many items on and off with O. So if you don't see it at first, Try hitting O before you think it's not installed. <laughs> um, but that is the first way to install mods. Another way is Magic Launcher. So if you go to this link and download Magic Launcher, it's by this amazing <laughs> uh, modder called SP614X. He has made two fantastic mods, Optifine and Magic Launcher. I'll show you Optifine next, but Magic Launcher is another mod loader um, and has quite a few extra features. So download it from here and then it'll just show up like this. It'll look kind of like your Minecraft jar, but it is just a custom launcher. So you'll have all these extra options up here. Here's Notch's Twitter, Jeb's Twitter, just kind of a cool extra feature right there. But the main meat of this uh, mod is you go in here, setup, and then you are greeted with this. You, um, you'll probably won't have anything in here, so 
to add mods into here, you go over to add and then go in wherever you're keeping your mod. Make sure you know where they are. Um, select your mod and then you can click open and it'll show up inside this uh, window. Um, we already have too many items installed inside, so it'll just say duplicate. So you don't want to do that. We can click on mod loader since that one doesn't conflict. But um, if you remember, we did not install Optifine. I had just have it in my mod folder. If we click that checkbox, it says OK, which is good. And now it is installed. You don't even have to delete your meta INF folder if you haven't already, um, if you're using Magic Launcher. But um, also note that some mods do not work like this. Uh, you may have to actually install them inside your jar folder like I showed you, like single player commands works that way. Um, you have to actually install into the jar folder or else um, it won't work. So a method like this won't work. But for some mods like Optifine, which is very compatible with Magic Launcher, this works great. So now you can click OK, but first let's go into Advanced tab. In here you can customize your window size for Minecraft, as well as memory usage for Java. Um, I put mine at 2 gigs, so um, this is in megabytes 2048, and um, so Minecraft has 2 gigs allocated to it at any given time, um, which works great. Um, Alright, I think that's everything in here, so just make sure that's checked and then click OK. And now you can log in, and it'll take you out of the custom Magic Launcher and open up Minecraft. And now if we go into single player and go into world, and go into options, video settings, it is now installed. See these extra option, bleh, options? They are part of Optifine. All right, so that one is installed successfully. Um, that is basically it for mod. Uh, installation. Um, there's also another one I'll show you, but I don't like to use that. Um, first, we will uh, go into, I think I downloaded it. If you go up into this link and download MC Patcher HD, this is for texture packs. So whatever texture pack you can, um, download, you'll have to go into your texture packs folder and drag and drop your zip folder in here. And then um, if you do not have any mod loader installed or texture pack patcher, so let's open up this, go in here, tick off Optifine, log in, and you will see if I go into, whoops, if I go into texture packs, and then let's choose this one, done. Single player, go back in here. If you see little flames and portals in any blocks, um, you are not using a HD patcher and you're using a texture pack that is too high res for Minecraft. Anything above 16 by 16 will give you this little chunk error. So to get rid of that chunk error, I have a few options. Quit out of that. Um, this MC patcher is one of them. You can download this, and then once you have downloaded it, I think it's in my downloads folder. Yes, MC Patcher. Just run it. And then this is probably going to pop up with an error. Since my jar is already modded, you want to start with a fresh jar when using MC Patcher and then add mods after this. But um, make sure you have HD textures um, checked, and then you can click patch, and it will make your Minecraft be able to use HD texture packs. Um, it also includes some other mods in here, like better grass is great, random mobs, etc. Um, to add mods, this is another mod loader, but it works similar to Magic Launcher, but I don't like it as much. Um, you just go to this plus button and then find your mod, open it, and then it'll show up in here like in Magic Launcher. And then you just click patch and it works. But another, I think, I think better way to install texture packs, HD texture packs, is to use Magic Launcher coupled with Optifine. So you go back in here, download Optifine from that same guy, SP614X, um, and choose the appropriate uh, one for you. I use multi-core. Um, other people say smooth is better, but uh, I don't know. I really like multi-core. 
Um, so once you've downloaded that, we can install it with Magic Launcher. So go into Setup and just click that checkbox. Click OK. And now when you log in, you don't have to patch it or anything. It just works. So now I can go into World. And look, no chunk uh, errors. I've got better grass on as well. Optifine is, I believe, a superior mod. Um, you can go into Options, Video Settings, and it gives you so many more options. I won't go into all of them. You guys, check it out um, for yourself. If you have kind of a slow computer, I recommend this, as well as if you have a great computer, because it gives you so much more options. Um, you can turn off all sorts of stuff, annoying things like weather. Um, you can turn off and go into performance and uh, just make Minecraft run better. Um, so Optifine is a great mod. I highly suggest using it. But if you don't want to use it, there's also MC Patcher if you want HD textures. Um, I think that's everything. I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, Magic Launcher for installing mods as well as um, giving your Minecraft a little bit more memory to use. Optifine coupled with Magic Launcher is great. You can also install Optifine the old-fashioned way and just put it into your bin folder, your jar. But um, you can also use MC Patcher for textures um, as well as mods. And then Mod Loader by Rizugami um, to help out with uh, certain other mods that require it. Um, I think that is everything. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this little mod tutorial uh, as well as texture packs and learned something. Um, for all my viewers, uh, I have a download for the Let's Build Exchange map and on my channel, link right there, um, as well as my a custom texture pack. It doesn't have some of the custom paintings I have, but it does have like the TVs, um, speakers, uh, I think that's basically it, as well as like a mirror. Um, just a few of the custom ones we've made. The other uh, paintings are from a different texture pack, but I gave links to those, as well as custom water. Um, but yeah, you can download here for the texture pack and here for the Let's Build Exchange map. Um, hopefully you guys learned something from this video, and thank you guys for watching. I will see you in another one. Another one? Another video. I don't know what I'm talking about. See ya. <laughs>